Italy panics. Something very strange is happening to Italy's underground volcano. Earthquakes began to be felt in Campi Flegre in September 2023. Since then, more than 1,100 earthquakes have been recorded. The Flegrean Fields, also known in Italian as Campi Flegre, are an active volcanic area located in the vicinity of Naples, Italy. Unlike nearby Mount Vesuvius, Campi Flegre is not characterized by a single volcano. This area is more of a volcanic system, with some centers located within basin areas called calderas, basically deep sinkholes or cauldrons. Campi Flegre is surrounded by suburban areas and densely populated areas close to the town of Pozzuoli. For the past 40 years, the atmosphere there had been relatively calm and peaceful, but in September 2023 that began to change. Earthquakes began to be felt in Campi Flegre in September 2023. Since then, more than 1,100 earthquakes have been recorded, some of them measuring up to 4.2 on the Richter scale. This causes changes in the height of the ground surface. This process is known as Brady Seism. This area has been affected by this phenomenon before, most recently between 1968 and 1972, then again from 1982 to 1984. Bradicism can cause land levels to rise or fall as the magma chamber, buried between 3 and 4 kilometers deep, fills or empties, in a cycle of rising and falling. This process is what causes the earthquakes felt by residents here. However, residents here are not worried, considering it to be the breath of the volcano, sleeping beneath them. Even so, Volcanologists have been studying the caldera to predict what might happen in the future to prevent potential disasters. Fumaroles, such as the Pisciarelli fumarole, are holes in the Earth's surface that emit steam and hot volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. They can form as holes, cracks, or fissures near active volcanoes, or in areas where magma rises into the Earth's crust without erupting. The Temple of Serapis in Pozzuoli, which is not a temple but a market building, is considered an iconic monument in the Campi Flegre area. This temple is a symbol of volcanic Brady ISM in the region. Due to the rise or fall of the land beneath it, the temple is sometimes completely dry, and at other times half-submerged in seawater. The study of Brady Chisholm over the past few centuries has been possible thanks to observations, such as those carried out on the ruins of this Roman-era building. For example, by studying holes made in ancient columns by marine mollusks over the centuries, scientists can study changes in sea level at these sites. The entire Campi Felgre area has been subjected to continuous monitoring for many years by organizations such as the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology IGNV. Through various types of seismic analysis, they can provide projections of future activity and possible dangers to nearby residents. To gain a better understanding of volcanic activity in the Campi Flegre region, Volcanologists from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology use drones. This drone is equipped with a thermal monitoring device to study the surface temperature around the fumarole. This operation is carried out exclusively at night. Thus, solar radiation will not change the surface temperature measurements of the Earth's crust. The risk of deadly pyroclastic flows to nearby residents is potentially quite high, so monitoring the situation is very important. During the last Bradicism crisis here in 1983, more than 30,000 people needed to be evacuated from the Campi Flegre area. 
The Vesuvian Observatory is the oldest volcanic observatory in the world and was founded in 1841 to observe volcanic activity in the Naples area. The observatory covers the Campi Felgrae region, as well as the volcanoes Ischia, Stromboli and Mount Vesuvius.